Zainab, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to run the AWS Code Deploy agent with a user profile that isn't the root user. Let's get started. First, we must remotely access the instance. For the purpose of this demo, I will use AWS Session Manager to connect to the instance. On the Instance page, choose Connect. Choose Session Manager. Choose Connect. After we connect to the instance, let's check whether the code deploy agent is running. Before we go on, let's stop the agent. We'll use the setStream editor command to change the user in the code deploy agent process file. Replace EC2 user with the username that you want to run the agent. This command is compatible with all spotted Linux distributions of the code deploy agent RPM and Debian based that use systemd by default to manage the agent process. Next, add these commands to update the systemd service file. Now, grant the new user permissions to the required directories. Finally, start the agent and check its status. You'll see the AWS Code Deploy agent is running as PID, followed by the process ID. Let's run the psaux command to verify that the agent is running with the correct username. To automate the configuration on new instances, let's add these commands to a launch template. In the EC2 console, go to Launch Templates, and then create a new launch template. Enter a name for the template. For this video, I'll use the Amazon Linux 2023 AMI. This command is compatible with all supported Linux distributions of the code deploy agent, RPM and Debian based. To specify the configuration details that the instance will be launched with, such as instance type, key pairs, and so on, go to Advanced Details. In the user data section, enter commands to install the agent, stop it, update the config file for the new user, grant permissions, and then restart. Let's uncomment the command line in this file that updates the system servers file. Now let's create the launch template. After we create the template, any new instances launched by this autoscaling group will have the agent running as the specified user. To launch an autoscaling group from the launch template, first navigate to it. Choose Actions, and then choose Create Autoscaling Group. Enter a name for your autoscaling group, and then follow the configuration wizard. To verify that the instance is running the code deploy agent with the specified user, select the autoscaling group and choose the instance management tab. When the instance is in a healthy in-service state, choose it. To remotely access the instance, choose connect, session manager, and then connect. When you are connected, check the status of the code deploy agent. You'll see that the agent is running as the specified user. So now you know how to run the code deploy agent with a user profile that isn't the root profile. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.